What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Eric and this is the journey graph for another time of people, places, and praises. It's April 11, 2020 or day 27 of the community quarantine we have here in Davao City here in the Philippines. More regulations have been laid down by the government to slow down the spread of the coronavirus. We can't go out without these quarantine passes which we call FM Pass or Food and Medicine Pass. And we have curfew hours from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. here in Davao City. We are all having a hard time. But let's continue to pray to the Lord that all of these things will soon be over. At the same time, let's do our part to stop COVID-19. So let's continue to stay at home, um, wash our hands regularly, observe social distancing, and proper sneezing etiquette. To understand more why we need to do those things, so click this link right up here or up here or I don't know. Anyway, going to our subject in this video, let me ask you, how's your life on quarantine? We've been having this situation for almost a month now here in the Philippines and probably will be in our homes for some more time. We lost a lot of things in the process. Some people have lost their jobs and the opportunities to earn money and let's try to help those people in whatever way we can. To many of us, we lost a lot of ways to have some fun. To add to that, we're losing cups of rice every day and we don't know how long our food supply is going to last. But rather than just locking ourselves up in our rooms and do nothing and therefore gain nothing, we could still make this lockdown profitable. To many of us who are just staying at home, getting depressed over the coronavirus won't improve the situation. It will just drive us crazy and so if we won't end up in the ICU with a ventilator, we might end up in a mental health facility and we don't want that as well, right? Here are 10 things that we can do so that we'll not be wasting our lockdowns and I hope that they will be helpful for you and I would just like to give them to you in this episode of the Journey Graph which I call, Don't Waste Your Quarantine. And number one on our list is that we should set our things in our house in order. Yes, this is a good time to clean our houses or fix things that need fixing or arrange things in our rooms. Number two, strengthen your relationships. Bond with your parents, bond with your children, bond with your siblings. Try to reconnect with people whom you haven't heard for a while. Text, chat, call, video call. Take advantage of technology and social media to establish or re-establish your friendships and relationships. Number three, study and learn. Go get a good book, read, learn, or try to go over some notes and try to relearn some things that need to be. Number four, sleep well. Yes, go get those six to eight hours of good sleep. Number five, Start a hobby like gardening or vlogging if you like. Number six, sharpen your skills like what I did with my cooking. Now I know how to cook chicken adobo, bistec, mungos, and laoi. And yes, I'm trying to improve my egg dishes. Or if you're into photography, okay, try to improve those photographic skills like, like what my friend Carl did. Or if you're into miniature gardening, yeah, try to develop the skill. That's what my friend Joshua is doing also right now. Number seven, serve in whatever way you can. Wash the dishes or water the plants. Number eight, show love to others. Maybe the elderly lady 
next door needs some help with some errands. Or you could cheer the frontliners because they need that right now. Number nine, spread the gospel of Christ. Because that's the news that everybody should know. I heard someone said, spread the good news, not the virus. I like that. Now, you might be wondering what is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ? And I would just like to share that to you in a nutshell. What is this message all about? Well, it's all about the holy and righteous, good, awesome, glorious God. And we have sinned against Him. And because we have sinned against Him, we need to be punished with eternal punishment in hell. And we cannot save ourselves. Not our good works, not our religion, not our good looks, not our achievements, not our wisdom or education can save us. No, nothing can save us. No one can save us, not even ourselves. But God, out of His love, great love for us, gave His only begotten Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to be our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins and He rose again from the dead on the third day. And now God wants us to repent and put our whole trust in the Lord Jesus Christ so that as we come believe in Him, we will not perish but have everlasting life. And that is the good news. That is the news that everybody should know. And that is the news that you should tell. Number 10, spend time with the Lord through prayer and His Word. Let's not just strengthen our bodies in this time of the coronavirus, but let us do so with our souls as well. I would just like to talk about that in another video. So there you have it, some things that you can do so you will not waste your quarantine. The word of the Lord says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, Therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. So whether we're on lockdown or we're free to roam around, we should do all for the glory of God. We should live with gladness in the glory of God and not waste our quarantine. So, yes, very delicious. Yes. Uh, rate from 1 to 10. 8. 8. <laughs> <laughs> so, which of those tips are helpful for you for this time? I would like to hear from you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe or like my Facebook page. Once again, don't waste your quarantine. This is Eric, and see you next time here on The Journey Graph.